Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So Hello, for today, <laughs> Hi. today's video, I'll be doing a first impression um, on makeup products that I recently purchased. So if you guys want to see that, then stay tuned. So the first um, product that I bought from Sephora is this lip bar palette from Too Faced because a lot of people have been raving about it that it is a good everyday um, eyeshadow and also because people have been talking about how good this palette smells. Yep, it totally smells like um, chocolate. This palette to go ahead and create a look, like an everyday look for, you know, for work days because, you know, like where I work, we have to wear makeup. But first, I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyes real quick. And where's my primer? I definitely put way too much. If anyone's wondering if I'm using the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo to win one my primer. It's my favorite. Okay, so you guys can see it does have a yellow undertone to it. Then I just go ahead and take white chocolate and go ahead and just set that. Oh, it smells good. My eyes are freaking super white right now though, but it's okay. Milk chocolate. Apply this on my eyes. That is pigmented. Oh. Wow. Okay. Oh my god. Eyes does not look like they're even at all. Creme brulee. Taking triple fudge, and I'm just gonna darken this on this side. So overall, I did like this um, chocolate bar palette from Too Faced. It smells so great that when I'm doing my makeup, I just or like when I'm doing my eyes, I feel like I'm eating chocolate. There's just something about this. And also the pigmentation is a 10 out of 10, meaning like 110% or 100%. On, we have the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black. I got this product because I do feel like when I'm working and, you know, especially when you're working really hard at work, you tend to sweat a lot. To the point that sometimes you could just wipe off your makeup and I am not a big fan of that because when you wipe it off you could look really crazy like for example your 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 eyeliners so I went ahead and um, picked up this one from Stila at Sephora and we will see how this one looks. oh and I'll swatch it for you guys so that you guys could see and that's how black it could go. This product, it's okay. It is waterproof. 
as you can see, I'm trying to like rub it off. This is what I'm looking for in an ink eyeliner. So yeah, this product, it's, it's alright. Well, like I said, it does not budge at all, which is I like the most. So I'll just give it a 10 out of 10. The next one I got is the Makeup Forever Professional Paris, the Aqua. It's a waterproof eyeliner from Makeup Forever. And this is how it looks like. I got this one at Sephora also. I, I believe this was like $21. Alright, so this one is also waterproof. Um, so I went ahead and found something that I need for work. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and tight line my eyes. And I'm going to show you guys how black it looks. So that's it dried so fast that yep give it a 10 it does work I love it and I will be using it for work so yes I think it does work and the next one that I'm going to show you guys is this better than sex mascara from Too Faced this is it claims to be waterproof that stays all day with intense volume and length and I do love the packaging the packaging is really stunning it's just this blue um, tube mascara tube with like little what do you call it little, little droplets of like water type of thing which we do have really tiny lashes so oh my god I'm getting in my hair <gasps> Oh no. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This mascara, I don't. I mean, I'll just give it. Ooh, my God. Yeah. Do you see that? Do you see that? This. Oh. I'll say that it takes a long time for it to dry up, and. It's so hard to apply too because I do have small eyes and small tiny lashes and the applicator of this thing is huge, very huge compared to my eye. And it does get a little bit too clumpy which I don't like. But after all, it is waterproof but it does take a while for it to dry out. So if you do apply this on, you gotta wait for like, maybe like, minutes for it to dry up so you wouldn't get under your eyes as you guys could see that it did right when it blinked it got into my under eye and yeah I don't even know if it's dry yet okay, so that was the last one that I got from um, Sephora now the next one would be this moisture lock coconut oil infused lip treatment from Mil Ugh. It takes a long time to dry. I cannot be blinking my eyes. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and look at you guys. Look straight to my lens. So this is the um, Moisture Luck Coconut Oil Infused Lip Treatment. You guys, it's not drying at all. I don't know what's wrong with it. Is it supposed to do that? so um 
Candy Lights did read about this product. She said that it smells good and it does keep her lips really moisturized or something like that. It smells like coconut, which I love coconut. Oh, and I got this from Walgreens. I believe this retails for $8.99 just for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it on my lips and see how I like it. Since my lips are very dry right now. I don't know if I do like it or not. This product, it's okay, but I don't find that it does moisturize my lips. Especially, I do have... I don't know if you can see that, but... Maybe if I do um, go ahead and exfoliate my lips. This product, I think I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Just because when I did apply it, it did it didn't really um moisturize my lips i mean it did but like i could see the um dryness of my the dry skin on my lips and it does not it did not do it any justice so maybe if i go and exfoliate my lips first and then apply that maybe i'll get a better result so for the next one I got the Milani anti feathering lip liner at Walgreens. I'm gonna test it out. It claims to stop lipstick and lip gloss from bleeding and feathering, and it is a primer and line filling formula. So, we're gonna try this one. I'll be using my Velvet, Velvet, Velvet Teddy from MAC. I'm just gonna let me. I like it. I feel like, wait, let me just go ahead and put this on. It does work. I like it. Okay, so I'll give this one. I feel like it's a 9 out of 10 because I cannot really see just yet how it is going to appear. But so far, it is good. So, this is a finished look. Um, this is how I would do my makeup to work. I won't really apply any false lashes because to me, that's kind of a little bit too unnatural. I don't know if that makes sense, but. Yeah, and thanks for watching my video and I hope to see you guys on my next one. And if you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'm talking to you. See you standing